in February 9, CCTV News exposed the sex industry in Dongguan, which led a big disgust in society. Especially in the internet, people criticized CCTV strongly. Cindy, a CUM student from Milan, observed this event in Hong Kong and tried to analyze in terms of people's mind and professional knowledge. People feel dissatisfied about CCTV because CCTV avoid the sensitive topics such as PM 2.5, illegal cooking oil, milk powder, and so on. But pay much attention on the phenomenon we all know, like Dongwa at this time. What's more, the prostitutes they exposed a vulnerable group in this society. In the internet, critics thought that not a simple news report pointing at the prostitution in Dongguan. They regard this program as a premonition of Chinese government. From the reporting we can see, CCTV investigated with the Ministry of Public Security. It's not only a simple news reporting, but also a propaganda for government to support police operations. When was asked whether one day she will go back hometown work for CCTV, Cindy said that's possible, but she will learn some lessons from this event and try to change. Um, it's difficult for CCTV to change its role as an authoritative media, a tool of government. However, for me, I still want CCTV to make progress. And I think there is some spa space for CCTV news to improve. During the news reporting, for example, protecting the privacy, at least CCTV can mosaic the girl's face in this program. Maybe one day I will work for CCTV and have to do the same thing, similar topic. I will try my best to make the report professional and some valuable parts. Interview some practitioners, active administrators. I think this event is a chance for CCTV to reflect, to rethink. Except exposure, public also needs valuable things. People criticized that CCTV's report on Dongguan didn't fit the image of profession. Public for more respectable news agency. We will pay attention to the further development. Thank you, Amanda.